this wasn't something that I'd sort of uh, experienced myself, obviously, <laughs> from a sort of different cultural background. But yeah. to, to hear what you're suggesting that uh, black women are made to feel that they can't wear their hair naturally yeah. was quite a surprise to me. Oh, was it? Yeah, I don't, but, but to the idea that, 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 that it's actually, they don't feel yeah. like they can wear yeah. it naturally. Yeah, um, I think it's uh, something that's really subtle. It's not being told to you directly from society, but it's everything that you see all around you. And when you see um, professional women or professional black women, they all have straightened hair. And as you grow up, you know, you're told that if you want to be successful in life, if you want to go anywhere, you have to have your hair look presentable. And what's presentable hair? It's straight hair. So um, from is very it young... though? Because your hair's not straight and it's hugely presentable. Oh, thank you. Well, it is. I mean, there's nobody that would say it's in any way, whatever job you were doing, you know, because some jobs have more yeah. formal, mm. uh, you know, ideas of what's presentable than other. No one's going to say you're not neat and tidy. Well, that's what you say, but actually there are some people that okay. do say say that um, I think it's just um, in a sense it's a, a, an unconditioned bias you don't really realize what you're saying ah. um, but it starts from very young so I've got a few women who would come to me and say ever since I started the campaign that oh they're three-year-old or four-year-old wants to straight have straight hair because that's all they see you know the books they read the TV they watch mm -hmm. the adverts they see on whether it's adverts and magazines uh, you know on TV and you know I nearly said radio <laughs> 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 but yeah so so it's just that subtle thing of you know if you want to look beautiful if you want to look presentable this is how you're supposed to look and it's not just hair; it's, it's body as well skin tone body shape you know but hey it's just you know thrown into the mix dermatologists and trichologists will tell you that using the chemicals on your hair to straighten it is dangerous mm. using straighteners um, as often as we have to use straighteners if we want to keep our hair straight is dangerous it breaks the hair and you see little girls four-year-old five-year-old having you know the hairline of maybe say someone who's much older is in 80 mm. or 70 because years old because it's broken off um Young women as, as young as 30 are permanently bald now because of the, the, the hair grooming practices because they're trying to make their hair different. Mm. So yes, it's a choice, but you know, is, is the choice an empowering choice? That's mm. what we need to ask.